Hi guys, in this video tutorial we're going to be talking about creating child themes. Now the responsive premium press themes have ability to add on child themes which are basically extra designs for your main core theme. So for example if you've installed the directory theme we're going to be creating a child theme for the directory theme. If you've installed the shop theme we'll be creating uh, a design for the shop theme etc etc. And the principle behind child themes is that when we install a child theme, all of our customizations, etc., can be um, bundled in with the child theme so that when we update the core framework, such as the shop theme or the directory theme, then the changes um, that we've made to our child theme won't be uh, affected by any of the changes we make in the actual core updates. Okay. In front of me, I have a clean version of WordPress and I've just installed the responsive directory theme from Premium Press. Now, it doesn't matter again what core framework you're using, whether it's the shop theme, the classifiers theme, etc. Um, it all works the same way. Um, in this video tutorial, I've just decided to use the directory theme, that's all. So, again, if we look at the theme installed, this is the demo content. So, this is all of the content is there it is. And in the admin area, if we go under appearances, you can see we've just got the uh, the active responsive directory theme installed along with the default WordPress theme. So first things first, what I suggest once you've installed um, your new website is to go ahead and obviously update all of the options in the admin under theme options, general setup, etc. Make sure everything's set up the way you want it. Now for the purpose of this video tutorial, I'm going to go ahead and make a couple of uh, color changes so that we can see the difference when we save our um, theme. So if I just use the blue for example, click on blue here, uh, refresh the website so we can see what it looks like now in blue. So this is a blue version, so we can see it's all saved in blue. Okay, um, I might want to change some of the home page elements. So under page setup, home page, I can go ahead and remove the Google Map. Ref give that a refresh. You can see the Google Map's gone. I might want to get rid of the uh, display categories, so I'll go ahead and remove that. Let's have a look. Remove that. There you go. Refresh it again. I don't like this white background at the back, so I'm going to go ahead and change that under the design setup. Uh, there is core padding content. It's the same on the left hand side under background and con uh, contact blocks. You've got this back page colors, so you can remove that there. Save the CSS changes. If we hit refresh, there you go. So the background white there element is gone. And I'm going to add a, a new element to the home page as well, just for the sake of it. Home page. Uh, this has some three columns at the top, so I drag that to the top and give that a save. Okay, so we'll give it a refresh. Okay, so you can see now we've now got a blue directory website, a couple of elements at the top, a couple of changes to the home page. Very simple and very basic, um, but for the purpose of this video tutorial, it's just to give you an idea of what you can quickly do. Okay, so what we've done now, we've, we've spent hours and hours and hours on our website, we've got it just the way we want it, and obviously now we want to save that onto a child theme so that we don't lose the changes later on. So we have to consider a couple of things. If we go into the admin area, under create child theme, which is on the um, left hand side, under the toolbox, we have the options here to, to save our child theme, um, save our current setup as a child theme. So we have options to select the child theme name, so we can enter a name here. Now since I'm using the directory theme and it's blue, I'm going to use a descriptive name, I'm going to call it blue directory, or just blue directory, there we go. Under the options here, we've got three checkboxes, and these are quite important. We've got the option to include my custom settings, and that's functions.php. And what that does, it will save all of the options we've just saved under the home page, under the page setup, all of the options here. So, for example, the layout options, the menus, etc., the columns, the home page elements that we've added here. So, we want to save those as well. And any content you've added to your latest search results, listing page, etc., those will all be saved into your um, functions file. So we want to click that. We've got the options here to include my custom styles, CSS. And what that is, is obviously again under the design setup, anything that we've, we've customized here, it's listed on the right hand side here, um, will be saved into your CSS, which will be style.css. And the last but not least, we've got include core framework theme styles. Now, as we've, we've used the directory theme in this tutorial, um, what we've done is apply colouring options to the actual core framework styles. So there are still core elements from the child from the core theme here that are um, incorporated into this design. So we 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 really want to kind of save those as well. So we would click that and save that. If you decided that you w didn't want to use any of the core elements, so any of the style options such as the button elements here, this this button, some of the content and the pages, you can unclick that and it'll just save the styles that you've put, you've put in the admin area here. So to be on the safe side, if you've used the core theme and you want to make sure you've got this, um, the, 
the design elements from it, make sure you include the include core framework options here. Okay? And all you do is once you've set that up, simply click on download child theme. Now, if I just move it down a little bit, you can see it says the download is ready. Please use the link below to download your child theme. And we just simply click on the link to download it and start the download. Okay. So if I open this, okay, I've set it to my desktop. If I go back into my admin area, again, under um, appearances, add new, I'm going to be uploading my newly saved child theme. So upload theme, choose file, desktop, uh, template blue directory, which is the one I've just created, and install this. Okay, there we go, it's installed. Theme is six feet. So you will notice when you install any child theme from Premium Press, there's this little text that comes up here, and it might be a little bit confusing, so let me explain. It says you need to install a parent theme before you use the child theme. Well, basically, um, all of the uh, child themes for Premium Press frameworks um, allow you to use multiple um, child themes for multiple frameworks. So basically, when you install the child theme initially, it doesn't know which framework you've got installed, so it'll give that text. But once you refresh the themes page, the actual th um, theme itself will be automatically adjusted to use with the currently installed active framework, which in this case is the directory theme. So as you can see there, we have the directory blue, which is what we've just created. Now before I go ahead and click that, obviously on our website, the current setup we've got is exactly the same as the child theme, because obviously that's what I've just saved. So to demonstrate um, how it kind of works and how you can um, use it when you install it on multiple sites, if I go back to my theme options, uh, design setup. Let me just remove all of the style and options. So reset it back to the defaults. So we we'll give it a page refresh. It's orange again. And let me just kind of destroy the home page a little bit. So in the page setup, home. I'm just going to remove the elements from the home page. Okay. So if I remove those, so we've removed all the home page elements. We've just got the widgets on the right hand side. And if I set the home page just to um, full width, so that you remove the widgets as well. So there we go. We've kind of got a broken home page, as it were. Um, so what's going to happen, hopefully, is when we activate the child theme that we've just saved, it's going to restore all of the elements that we had um, previously, because those are actually saved now within our child theme. So, back to the admin area. Appearance. We're going to activate now this new blue child theme. Click on activate. Okay, this congratulates activated, and if we go to our home page to check, there we go, you can see it's exactly the way as it was. You'll notice though a couple of times with WordPress that some of the menu options on the top here will be disappear and sometimes as well widgets will disappear as well. And that's just because WordPress um, tries to be clever and save um, your menu options and widget options based on your theme um, installation. So you may have to just put those back. But that's unfortunately just part of the WordPress setup. But as you can see, everything is as it was. Uh, the home page color options are all there. Your widgets are there. You, you um, your listing content, um, homepage layout, etc., etc., is all there. So that's kind of the basics of creating a child theme using the default options within WordPress um, and the actual default options within the Premium Press framework. In the next tutorial, I'll show you a little bit more about customizing um, your child theme and using some of the file options that are available.